Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland, and I'm outside Westminster Cathedral in London. Notice it's Westminster Cathedral and not Westminster Abbey. So uh, this is the Roman Catholic Cathedral, and it is the primary one um, for the whole of England and Wales. The Archbishop of Westminster is the um, most senior Catholic priest in uh, England and Wales. Sometimes that Archbishop is also given the title of Cardinal, sometimes he's not. So it's um, uh, Vincent Nichols at the moment, a Liverpudlian. Um, now, he's got also uh, primacy in southern England as well as Wales. There's the Archbishop of Middlesbrough, who was the main Catholic prelate in northern England. However, Westminster is senior to Middlesbrough. Um, well, the Roman Catholic Church here was here since, I suppose, St. Augustine came on his mission um, in the 5th century, well, sorry, the 4th century AD. And indeed, there have been Christians here prior to that, but not much is known about it. Then in uh, around 1533, Henry VIII broke England away from the Roman Catholic Church, founded the Church of England. The Catholic Church had to go underground, was persecuted. Priests and bishops who adhered to the Catholic faith were executed. There's a brief hiatus in 1553 where Catholicism came back for five years. But anyway, apart from that, since um, Henry VIII, uh, England has been uh, officially a Protestant country, or perhaps more accurately, an Anglican country, with the Church of England being the established church. And England, not the United Kingdom, England is the only country in the world that is officially Christian, where a Christian church has uh, status written into, into law. Anyway... So uh, the Catholic Church didn't have bishops in this country for centuries. Then in 1850, an agreement was reached between um, the uh, British government and uh, the uh, Vatican City that um, Catholic bishops would be appointed to England once again. And so they were, and diplomatic relations were established between the UK and the Papal States. Um, and this, this cathedral here is only consecrated in 1910. had been finished, finished some years before that. Um, however, bishop, sorry, cathedrals couldn't be consecrated until such time as all their debts had been paid. And, and this cathedral here was the brainchild of Cardinal Vaughan, um, who was a Catholic archbishop. And um, he, the Cardinal, Cardinal Vaughan School uh, is named after him at West London. Mary Del Val, a British-born Spanish chap who was a Vatican diplomat, he was also a prime mover behind this. You can see that tower. You can pay to go up the tower. There you are. And then you can see the Vatican flag on that side of the arch. I hope you can see it up high. And then you can see, uh, where's the flag? Oh yeah, there's the flag. And the British flag on this side here. Because of course the Vatican City is an independent country with its own army, the Swiss Guard, of about 50 soldiers. And yes, they are all from Switzerland. Issue of its own passports and so forth. Um, and then you can see some Latin words engraved above the archway. That's the weird thing to call it. Above the entrance. Lord Jesus, Lord, Lord Jesus, King and Redeemer, by your blood you save us, and things like that. Um, and uh, images of various saints. And I'm trying to think if there are any more words to translate. Perhaps not. So it's got a, it's got a, um, a splendid choir. It's not the most magnificent cathedral as they go in here, because the Catholic community, we were very much a minority around uh, the turn of the 20th century, and we were often a poor community. There was a fair amount of anti-Catholicism around at the time, so there were not that many affluent people to be donating to this. And if you go around to that side, around to the back, there is Archbishop's house, as in the residence of the Archbishop of Westminster. And Catholic priests who go to uh, prison for an unmentionable crime, they have their post forward to them, care of Archbishop's house. Right, that's probably all from um, Westminster Cathedral. At the time, I could film inside there, and various national events of the Catholic Church go on in there. Um, there are confession boxes to go in, and it's open not quite 24 hours. Right, that's enough from Westminster Cathedral.